Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gabe's to here. This is a Brawler's Guild guide for the Dippy and Doopy encounter. This is one of the challenger or special rank fights. And getting the challenger card for this requires defeating Doopy in pet battle. You can find Doopy in Ice Crown in Northrend at uh, the location 47.8 by 14.6, basically the northern tip of it. He's just hanging out there. He's a level 12, 25 legendary um, pet battle. So he will require a full team of level 25s or close to it anyway to defeat. Uh, so if you're not really big into pet battles, you don't have a team yet, it's going to take you a while to level him up and get there. Anyway, once you defeat him, you'll get the challenger quest card to actually begin this fight. So tactically, this fight is fairly simple. Uh, this will be very similar to the Dippy fight if you've done the lower rank encounters, uh, where Dippy will cast Peck when he's within melee range of you, and any attack made against him will knock him backward, interrupting the cast. However, if he's allowed to cast Peck, it will probably one-shot you. So it's important to constantly attack him and do some form of damage to knock him away. However, you also face Doopy, who uses the same basic mechanic, but he's much slower, and the combination of the two makes it a little more challenging. Uh, the basic idea here, at least for melee, that I found is to kite Doopy by just moving around the outside of the room while you actually deal damage to Dippy early on, and focus on killing Dippy first, because Doopy is slow enough that he should not get in range of you. And if you're a ranged player, you can probably just alternate casts on both these guys and keep them both knocked away from you pretty easily. Um, but as a melee, I find it was easier to just focus on Dippy first. And you probably want to use your DPS cooldowns to deal with Dippy uh, initially while he's within range. So here you can see I'm just cutting around again. And they don't have very much health. Uh, they have 4.58 million each. So the actual DPS requirement is pretty forgiving for this um, fight. And the basic idea, again, is just to be smart about when you attack which target. So here you can see with Doopy close, I'm just letting Dippy run into me, get a couple good shots on him, kite some more, and just repeat this until he dies. Once Dippy's dead, then you can just focus on Doopy right up in his face. The only thing to be careful of, which I do at the end of the video, and come close to dying, in fact, is if you knock one of the penguins into a corner and they therefore don't have anywhere to actually move if you hit them with a knockback, then they can just continually cast and get their peck cast off and kill you. So here you see Doopy's getting into a corner. So I'm trying to let him come out a little and attack him from angles, but sometimes he just keeps going back in the same direction. So just be careful of that. If you get them in a corner, uh, they could continues, continue to cast and actually hit you. So try to let them come out or just stay far away if that happens. But that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy encounter, so most of the work will be actually getting your pet team to defeat Doopy out in the pet battle world. <laughs> and uh, the actual fight against them in the arena is quite simple. So good luck. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please subscribe.